And we think that we can actually reclaim some of the money lost through tax evasion and tax avoidance. The PCS union would reckon that that is about £120 billion pounds every year lost to the economy as a result of people putting their money overseas. And um, if my, my uh, speaker here over here is from Greece, he might know of a part called Syritza in Greece, which was only formed a few years ago on a very small poll rating, and now it's actually um, rocketed in support because of policies appealing to ordinary people and because of the huge austerity problems in that country. And they're actually now long running that country. Now, the task was only started a few years ago in 2010, and it was started by Bob Crow the Railway and uh, Maritime Transport RMT Union leader as to begin to offer people uh, a real voice in politics for the first time. And so I got involved with that project when it came along and we've grown since then. We're now the sixth largest party in the elections. Uh, we've got a TV broadcast on April the 19th, I think it is. And um, we're growing in strength. And so if you want to be part of a growing political voice for ordinary people, not careerist politicians, if elected I would only take the average wage of someone in Leicester South. I would not take an MP's salary. We think that is completely out of touch with the reality of life for ordinary people. And also we are completely 100% opposed to all cuts in the public sector. Uh, we think that the public sector should be there to serve people. It should be there uh, to provide jobs and provide a decent standard of living and we also campaign on a £10 an hour minimum wage now with no exemptions um, and that is achievable. Right, cuts to youth services have been uh, devastating in many places, criminal really. Uh, the city councils have had to uh, uh, do their best with hugely reduced budgets. We've all seen the massive cuts that Leicester city councils have because of the, different, so the changes in the funding programmes which means deprived cities like Leicester have lost more than other more well-heeled parts of the country, but city councils like Leicester have been able to maintain some provision uh, of youth service. And when, for example, it looked like the adventure play areas, there's one there, there's a couple of my constituency, a very famous one in the Sackman Lane area, which I have supported in the past, was released the adventure play areas, looked like they were uh, going to have to be shut. There was, that city council managed to uh, uh, save them. On your broader point, is are we going to be able to go back under a Labour government to the levels of investment in youth services that we had under the last Labour government? I'll be honest with you, I don't think we can. But I will take issue with my uh, 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 comrade on the left, Tusk. We haven't signed up to the Tory austerity policies at all. In fact, last week when we had the budget in the House of Commons, the Independent Office for Budget Responsibility, which uh, goes through the books and gives it uh, a final judgment, said there were going to be very deep and sharper cuts in public expenditure after the next election if the Tories get in. Deeper and sharper than what we have seen. And the Labour Party has not signed up to those cuts. The Labour Party opposes those cuts. Indeed, uh, 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 we had quite a bit of uh, debate. A colleague there is shaking his head. It's absolutely true. It's absolutely true we are not... We are not I think you're avoiding the question though, aren't you? I'm that that you're on. still signing up for cuts. Isn't that the problem? He's just not up signing up for the Tories' cuts. It's just you, the Labour of I said to you when you came to my surgery two weeks ago with your petition, I said to you, we're not signing up for the Tories' austerity. And last week it was revealed that the Tories are going to cut deeply into public services, and we are not supporting Yeah, you're not signing up for Tory austerity, you're signing up for yeah. Labour austerity. Say, say. Okay, can we allow the last candidate to speak on the question, why the question of cuts to youth services? Thank you. Uh, okay, that we, will, as a liberal democracy, we will, uh, believe in building a stronger economy. We don't believe in that, <coughs> but there was no choice. In fact, when we, um, when we did uh, coalition war, there was uh, so much debt, and we had we needed to reduce it. So that's why we had, there was no much choice with us. We had to support. Basically, there was a major points. We have to support uh, conservative and uh, uh, government and few other things. But um, we, we, we don't want to cut any kind of us. 
but if you if you if you we are in majority, and you see that there are not much medicals, there are no public services, and um, we want to build a basically a stronger society. We want to provide all the facilities to the uh, to the public, and uh, we would make sure that if we are in majority, we are and we try we we'll try our best to. Uh, that there's no no cuts, but there, then there are certain things. In fact, uh, we have to we have to see uh, that first of all we'll have to uh, balance our books, and uh, but still we'll, we are not for public services cuts. In fact. Okay, I'm gonna.